What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some pineapple uh, chicken sliders, man. Just in time for the big game. And you know who I want to win. So, let's get into it and uh, let's go. So, first thing you got to do, you're going to make the slider because the slider, yeah, we're going to get into it like Coolio. We're going to be talking about that slide, slide, slippity slide, hitting switches on the block in the 65. We're going to get done with this and then we're going to roll it up. That's what you do. Just roll it up if you know what I'm talking about. So, First thing you got to do to roll it up, let's get started, buddy boy, because the game's going and they're about to kick off. Now, we got the uh, King's Hawaiian Rolls here. You're saying to yourself, like, oh, King's Hawaiian, that's that high dollar stuff, baby boy. You must have been feeling richy rich. Well, no, I wasn't, sir. I had to get this because it didn't have the other. And you know the thing about it, I got the big pack of 24 rolls and I came in this morning. Three of them rolls was gone, man. So I had to walk around playing damn Clue. Like, I think it was Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with a little bit of something, something, eating my rolls. I don't know who done it because it is a who done it because nobody wants to tell me who done it. But it doesn't matter. We're going to take this one off and it's going to be fine. Watch what we do. Take your rolls. Uh, go ahead and cut them through all the way. Don't worry about tearing them up individually, sir, because it's a team sport. Kind of like when you get down on the 50-yard line and it's time to go for the Super Bowl. Now, we're going to uh, cut them all open. Evenly, sir. Finally, take your time. Now, go ahead and put them in the big game, like the big stadium we got here. Now, I'm going to use my roaster today. You, if you got the oven, go ahead and get you a casserole dish, if you wish. And you're going to put some foil down in there, kind of just spray it or whatever you want to do. Dibbity do. So, go ahead and take your uh, Scooby Doo. Now, go ahead and take your, uh, your rolls, put the bottom part down on the bottom part. Now, we're going to add that big yard bird, baby, that yard pimp. And the thing about it is, you're saying to yourself like, oh, well, canned chicken. I thought you could cook up maybe some chicken thighs, maybe some chicken breasts. Well, that would be good. But you know me, buddy. I ain't got time for that shit. I'm trying to watch the game and uh, do a little extracurricular activity. You know what I'm talking about. Give me a cold beer or something like that. So, we got the canned chicken today. This stuff is good. I've used it before. Excellente. Especially on the flight. Now, go ahead and open your chicken, buddy. Drain it off just a little bit. Then you come back and you put your chicken right on top of that dude right there now next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go over to uh spongebob's crib because, <laughs> because we got the pineapple you can wave at squidward when you go by he lives next door grumpy guts over there so get your pineapple and put that sweet 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 on top of there because that's the thing we're gonna have a little meat we're gonna have a little sweet and uh, we're gonna have a little good something to eat got the chicken on there got the pineapple next thing we're gonna do we're going to get some bacon bits. I'm looking around because I can't find them, but they will be here if I, they're here. They're probably here. So, I found them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get our bacon bits and we're going to put them on there. And these are real bacon pieces. The bacon brit, the bacon, bacon, bacon bits. They're like brick dust, man. I like the real bacon pieces because it's good. Good. Now, we've got the bacon pieces. We've got that. So, let's go ahead and add a more little sweet. To me, I just think it needs a little sauce. I didn't want to go spicy. And I really didn't know what to do, and I thought, you know, let's double down on the sweetness, kind of like you. You so sweet, I want to give you a kissy wissy. Now, we've got the honey right there, the little bear. And there again, somebody ate his brains, like a zombie coming in here at night, stealing it. So, we're going to take a little bit of that, and we're going to, uh, now we know what happened, the honey and the thing. We're going to take a little bit of that, and we're going to put that on top of the deal right there, sir. Good, and last but not least... Stop it with a little cheese, if you please. Just kind of hold everything together. It's, it's like the, uh, the coach in there. It's like Andy Reid in there. He's telling them, boys, we got to stay together. We got to go out and fight for that prize. Now, we're going to put the cheese on top of that deal, baby, and we're going to make it seal, baby. Now, put your top on the top, the top layer of the roll on the top of that Bob Dole looking over there. <laughs> so, we're going we're gonna to put that in there. Now, put your lid on top. I'm going to turn this to about 325. Sits in there not long because everything is pre-cooked that you've got here and you really just want to kind of heat it up, melt the cheese, and toast the bun a little bit. And so when the bun is toasted, we can come back and have a psych and we can have a big old touchdown tonight with these uh, pineapple chicken sliders, buddy. Wouldn't you agree? I think you would. So come with me.
All right, baby, the time has come. The chicken pineapple sliders are done. And remember that first bite for me. So, for a slider, a little slider, it's a big sandwich. So, looking good already. Smelling good already. Mmm, tasting good for sure. You get that chicken and bacon right off the bat. It's a classic combo. Then, sweetness of the pineapple. And finishing up with that honey and that melty cheese. Ooh, it's aimed to please. It's a uh, two point conversion for sure because I don't have two or four or six or, you know, as many as I can. So, I want to thank you for stopping by and uh, kicking it with me on another episode of Cooking It with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking episodes right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one. Enjoy them. Slide us, and I'll see you next time. Woo. Can't even throw it. I got to keep it to myself. So.